So now we are talking about uh, lesson 3.1 rational expression. So we need to understand the definition of the rational expression here. So in this case, any expression form has a over b form, then they are all rational expression. And the other word is fraction expression as well. So before we begin, I also want to talk about rational function for a second. So rational function means any function form fx is given as fx over gx form. So in this case, this fx and gx, they are all polynomial expression. Okay, please look at page 6. Num uh, letter, number 1a, please. So number 1a case, given fx equal to 3 over x minus 4. Okay, so in this rational function case, we have fractional uh, expression here. So, what is the limitation of fraction? Yes, the denominator cannot be zero. So, we always find out this limitation before the beginning of this problem. As you know, the denominator expression is x minus 4. So, we set up x minus 4 cannot be 0 here. If you solve for x, then you say that x cannot be 4. So this is our limitation here. Now look at uh, the problem that we want to find out certain input and output value here. So f is 0. Now f3, f1, something like that. Okay, then how to solve this problem? Yes, simply we plug each this input value into this function here. Then this become 3 over 0 minus 4. So become negative 3 over 4. So this is the same thing here. So this become 3 over 3 minus 4, which means 3 over negative 1, so become negative 3. This one, 3 over 1 minus 4, so 3 over negative 3, so become negative 1 like that. So let's cover a little bit more difficult problem, like um, C. C shows that g t equals 2t minus 5 over t squared plus 1. The same thing, we want to find out the limitation before the beginning of this problem. So we set up t squared plus 1 cannot be 0. And now minus 1, minus 1, then t squared cannot be negative 1. But when you look at here, after you complete all this problem using the square root, then you will get t cannot be plus and minus i, right? Because it is not the real term. Now our conclusion, this is the continuous function. So there is no limitation for this particular function. Now, Let's plug some certain value. So g1, then what do we do? Yes, plug 1 into all t here. Okay, so 2 times 1 minus 5 over 1 squared plus 1. So become 2 minus 5 over 1 plus 1 
Therefore, negative 3 over 2. That will be the answer. What about we put fraction like um, g negative 1 over 2? So in this case, we also plug this value into t then 2 times negative 1 over 2 minus 5 over negative 1 over 2 square plus 1 that equal to negative 1 minus 5 over 104 plus 1. So it becomes negative 6 over 1 over 4 plus 1. I'm going to explain more detail how to simplify this one using complex form. But anyway, this case, we want to find our common denominator from here. So it becomes negative 6 over 1 over 4 plus 4 over 4. So negative 6 over 5 over 4. Therefore, this becomes negative 6 divided by 5 over 4 equal to negative 6 times 4 over 5. So negative 24 over 5. Okay? Yeah. Now, because we are talking about functions, so we can also talk about domain and range. Okay, but we mostly uh, talk about domain in this case. So let's look at uh, number 2a. The function is fx equal to 2 over x. Again, this is the rational function form, which means we have the limitation. What is it? Yes, the denominator cannot be zero which means this x cannot be zero therefore x cannot be zero that's our limitation therefore we can say domain is all real numbers but x cannot be zero that's it. What if we indicate it using interval notation? Then, uh, to understand a little bit better, I'm going to use number line here. So we know that on this number line, all other value, all other value can be the answer. Right? but not zero. Make sense? So as you see, zero is cutoff line. So from negative side to zero, but not inclusive. And then from zero to positive side, but also zero is not inclusive. Therefore, in this case, we need to divide two different um, interval value based on zero. So domain is, we can say, negative infinity, because it keeps on going here, comma, zero, parenthesis, because it is not inclusive, and union, because we also have the other side. And then, um, zero, comma, infinity. We can say this way. So let's look at a little bit harder question. So let us see here. So k t equal to 1 minus t over t square minus 7t plus 12. Okay. So this case. Now the denominator is quadratic form right? The quadratic form. So you need factoring for this expression. 
So t square minus 70 plus 12. So find out two number. They are multiplying 12. Some negative 7. Then you will see negative 4, negative 3. Therefore, this factory becomes t minus 4 and t minus 3 and make equal to 0. Then t equal to 4, t equal to 3. They are our limitation value, which means in this case, t cannot be 4, also t cannot be 3. If they are, then it's going to be undefined value. Then what about the numerator? It doesn't matter because um, numerator can be 0 as well, but not the denominator. Therefore, the domain or real numbers but x cannot be 3 and 4 interval notation you can make negative infinity to 3 union 3 comma 4 union also 4 comma infinity okay